All right, so today guys, we're gonna be detailing this Tesla Model X, and I will say this is the dirtiest Tesla I have been able to find on YouTube anywhere. This thing is nasty. It's got gum on the doors, chocolate smeared everywhere. It's got food and trash all over the floor. This thing needs to be completely cleaned out, top to bottom, and then the stuff in the cup holders, I really don't have any idea what the sticky stuff is, but I promise you by the end of this video, I'll show you guys how I got this thing completely clean, back to looking like new. And if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe down below and turn on those notifications. Let's go ahead and get started with this detail. Now with any of these details, obviously the first thing to do is get all of the large debris out of the car, all the trash, all the toys for this matter, all of the big piece of food, and don't forget about Baby Yoda. Um, getting all of this stuff out of the car so that way the vacuum cleaner can do its job with getting all that debris out. Um, but definitely was excited to see that this car had these wraparound rubber floor mats because that does save a ton of time for a detailer. And for you guys at home, like I've always talked about, getting these for your car helps you save on time with cleaning your carpets and everything else. So highly recommend them. But like I said, get everything out of the car so we can see and assess how much work we need to do on this carpet. One thing I learned when I was detailing this Tesla that if you turn the power off and then you're vacuuming and you decide to press the brake pedal, um, the doors close. And in this instance, I almost lost my very expensive camera. Luckily, I was able to catch it in time, but this does happen at times. I've broken several cameras <laughs> with doors and wind blowing them around and swinging doors shut. So one thing I love is when you guys comment down below and for today I want to ask the question for you guys to let me know what is the top three car related or car detailing YouTube channels that you love. And for me personally, my number one by far is Mad Detailing. He does the nastiest cars on YouTube, plus he's a really good friend of mine. Number two is Ammo NYC because he does the most intricate work and most detail oriented stuff on YouTube, especially when it comes to high, high end cars. And then number three is Donut Media because they're just absolutely hilarious. If you've never watched them, definitely check them out along with the other two channels I mentioned. So make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below your top three car related or car detailing YouTube channels that you guys watch. Now for this detail, I did not pull the seats out of this Tesla. One, because they're very intricate. Two, it's electric and there's always electricity so you can't disconnect the battery. But the seats do move around forward and back quite a bit and up and down and these rear ones actually slide quite a bit. So it did allow me to get all access to the carpet, do all my vacuuming. Um, I've never torn a Tesla apart, so I will say for this one, I was a little bit more weary to do it just because the connectors are different. I was actually shocked with some of the pieces being as brittle as they were. Um, the connectors didn't move around, especially the plastic coverings, as much as different manufacturers. So I don't know if this is just a Tesla thing. 
um, but I was more weary to do it, so I decided not to. But luckily, as you guys can see with my crevice tool and my vacuum, different attachments, I didn't miss any spots. So this car got completely cleaned, and the good news was there wasn't anything spilled along the center console, which is typically what happens. Um, this was not the case, so I was lucky that I didn't have to worry about you know shampooing the carpets underneath. Spring comes like it's something in the air at that time. Don't know why. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time. Met you on a Friday, halfway out at the door of the club. One nice thing about Tesla's. They are obviously electric, but because they are electric and this one was plugged into the wall charging before, the battery was full and because it is electric, I was able to run the air conditioner the entire time and with it being 96 degrees Fahrenheit in Ohio, it was super hot in the garage, no fans blowing. So having the AC running in the car the whole time only drained the battery about five to eight percent, which was shocking, but awesome because it kept everything cool and made it tolerable to kind of work in and out of the vehicle without me having to take multiple breaks. Um, which is sometimes what has to happen, especially when I'm remote working at somebody else's garage.
Because these carpets were so stained and I also had the ability to bust out the pressure washer and the sun was so hot, these things dried out super quickly. Um, definitely chose the pressure washing route and then I had a squeegee that I was able to use and I typically use a backside of a rake. This squeegee worked really well too with helping to squeege out squeegee out <laughs> squeegee out the excess water so that way I could hang these to dry and let all that water drip out so that way by the end of this detail they were completely dry to put back in the car. And for all of you that like carpet lines for all the floor mats um, I definitely went the plaid route because the new Tesla plaid is coming out, which I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a Model S that is just incredibly fast and insane. So I went ahead and went with the plaid look, which was kind of different, something I've never done before. But by the end of the detail, when you see the after shots, you guys will understand how well it turned out and just kind of a nice little touch that I'd like to do on my details to kind of add um, more of a visual factor for the owner when I return the car back. The best thing about rubber floor mats is one, you can just pressure wash all the dirt off and debris, and then it's easy to dry because there's no obviously any carpet there. So once you pressure wash them, get some all-purpose cleaner, drill brush it, rinse it back off, hang it out to dry, let it sit out in the sun, they dry super quick. And um, it's a definitely a good um, investment if you don't have them or you want to protect your carpeted floor mats if you ever want to resell your car or just to keep it easily, you know, make it easier for you to clean. And for all of you guys on Twitter, I want you guys to share this video. Let's see if Elon Musk can actually notice this video and watch it because I think he would be a bit surprised that a Model X owner actually trashed this car this bad. And I don't know if he's ever seen one of his Teslas get this dirty, but let's go ahead and see if we can share this video everywhere and get him to notice this one.
for all these interior door panels, it's just, you know, typically what I do, which is all-purpose cleaner, my detailing brushes, which you can pick up on foxclean.com. And if you guys have been part of the mailing list or seen my posts and are subscribed, I have orange, black, gray towels now. I have the drying towels back in stock. And at the live of this video, I just released orange drill brushes that I use in all of my videos for my carpeted floor mats or for seats that need to have fabric. So if you're looking for drill brushes, detailing brushes, pet hair removal brushes, microfiber towels or drying towels, head over to Fox Clean after this video. And also in the description box, I have a promo code for everyone to use on your first order that gives you 15% off. So make sure you take advantage of that and don't forget to use that promo code and make sure you pick up your detail and supplies at foxclean.com. Now at this point in the video, after working outside on all these floor mats, um, I'm definitely singing a little bit, which is something I like to do when I'm detailing or listen to podcasts, especially Joe Rogan podcasts. Um, cranking up the AC was awesome at this point to help keep myself cool, get the rest of this detail done, and working on this nasty center console that had a lot of dirt and grime in it um, that definitely uh, needed the detailing brushes and my all-purpose cleaner to get them completely cleaned. Now once I had all the dashboard cleaned off, you know, you can use detailing brushes to get into the air vents, but sometimes you can't get all of that debris out. Plus, um, you know, you have lingering debris and, you know, dust inside the air vents and if there's any mold or anything like that, this is where the steam cleaner comes in handy because it helps blast off any of that leftover debris kind of stuck in those corners that you can't quite get your towel on to wipe clean. Um, that's where I like to use the steam cleaner. And then the steam cleaner definitely comes in handy with stuff like this. This is gum on the side of the seat or starburst or something. Um, regardless, it smelled amazing when I was using the steam cleaner because it just vaporized the smell. Uh, but using the steam cleaner on all of these door panels with chocolate, this gum on the seats, just take your time if you own one. Don't want to overheat the area and melt anything. But it definitely helps with slime, gum, Play-Doh, whatever you can think of that gets stuck in carpets on any sort of interior you know, surface. Steam cleaners come in handy and kick butt at getting it all gone.
Now for these door panels, you know, detailing brushes do help in these grooves, but a lot of this stuff was solidified. So using my steam cleaner to kind of heat up and loosen up and make it more pliable, and then using my detailing brushes that I had sprayed previously and soaked in all-purpose cleaner, helps with getting the rest of that residue and all those different things from those cracks removed, and then allow you to wipe it up at the end with a microfiber towel. Now I'm not sure how many of you have actually ridden in a Tesla or driven one personally. Um, the only one I've actually driven was when the P90D first came out on the Model S and I will say that they do accelerate like a bat out of heck. Um, they're really cool cars. I do enjoy them and I think after detailing this one, it's the first Tesla I've ever detailed. Um, it was really cool to kind of get personal with the car. which is what I like about detailing the most and I think that as a car owner when you detail your car you figure out all of the nooks and crannies and all the different things that make it what it is and every manufacturer does it differently in different ways and that's kind of the cool part about detailing and being a car owner to be honest so I mean for the younger people that have never owned cars or people that aren't super big enthusiasts it's an easy way to kind of just to get to be familiar with your own personal vehicle and what makes it special. And you know, no matter what the type of car is, whether it's you know a Lamborghini or if it's a you know a Honda Civic or anything super basic or to extreme, there's certain things about them that make them what they are. And it's just part of the the fun part about detailing and just being a car owner and being prideful in what you have. And I think that's one thing that people need to realize that it doesn't matter what car you have, it's just it's how you take care of it keep it clean, keep it maintained, how you own it, and I think that's just one of the cool things about it, being a car owner. One of my favorite parts about detailing leather interior cars is applying the conditioner after everything's perfectly clean because it gives the car that look like it did when it was brand new off the showroom floor. It, it you know makes the seats more pliable and it just reconditions the leather. And for my stuff that I use, you know, when you apply it, I love leave it on the bottom of the seat, leave it on the top of the seat, and in the very end I just wipe it with a micro microfiber towel to remove any excess and it gives it that dull, like new car look shine to it without it having to be, you know, sticky or you know oily. 
and it just makes the leather look like new. So for me personally, you know, applying a wax or a sealant or a ceramic coating and leather conditioner is like the top of my list of things that I enjoy doing the most. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the before and after shots were the best part of this video. I really enjoyed detailing this car and I was really happy with how it turned out. And you guys didn't see any extraction of the interior carpet because frankly the floor mats did their job and protected it completely. I had a spot treat a couple spots with some carpet cleaner where I just sprayed it on and used my brushes and then wiped it clean. Um, but otherwise than that, everything came out in the vacuuming stage. Everything turned out perfectly on the carpet. And I was really happy with like the plaid striping that I put on the carpet itself and the owner loved it. Um, they're actually looking at maybe getting a plaid model. Um, I think everybody we wishes they could. Um, but I was really happy with how this turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below like I mentioned earlier your top three car related YouTube channels. And then also hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week.